Back on April, I exposed the first prototype for Milky Way Mailing Ink, the game that you are seeing on your screen right now. The game that I am currently working on. If you want to know more about it, follow Milky Way Mailing Ink. I'll put the link in the description. And the major complaint that I got from, from playtesters was that they were lost. The, the game is an open world adventure game. So we have top down movement and shooting uh, mechanics. And people just got lost because they can go wherever they want. There are no rigid mechanics that prevent players from go wherever they want. Besides, players will have to progress through the game on a, a linear progression. But people were complaining that they need something that will show them where they were in this universe, uh, namely a mini map. And besides, let me show you uh, how the game currently is. Besides, when you got a quest, uh, it's currently on Brazilian Portuguese because uh, I have another exposition to, to attend to on this week, on Friday, so I'm uh, preparing everything in Brazilian Portuguese because here, uh, this is my native language. And as you can see, we have a narrow pointing where the players should go. So in this case, we should go to the Milky Milling headquarter. There we have it, and the arrow uh, disappears. But besides that, players were getting lost because, well, players do what they want and not what we tell them to do, right? And they just got lost besides they had those arrows to point them towards the direction in which they so should follow to progress through the game. They decide to explore, so on and so forth, and they lost track about where they were and where they, uh, what they could go. So I decided that I sh should make a minimap. And if you follow the channel last week, you saw that we have a, a live stream where I tried to make a minimap and we did some progress back then, but I had some <laughs> some distractions here on my offices, office. Uh, some people come here to talk about game, game development, and I also received the, the banner for my company here, so now I have a small plate telling the name of my company here on the office. but. Later this day, uh, back then, I figured out how I could finish up this minimap. So I wrote, guys, <laughs> guys, my site, my website is awesome. It's getting really cool. So I'm making it on Notion and Notion just released this new view, which is the feed view, which allows me to put all my posts on a given uh, date. Uh, so release publication order so you can see we have the saving load system i said i'm getting really good about making thumbnails watch this <laughs> and this one so we have here the minimap post and i get into more details about how the system is conceived so you can see that this is how it's supposed to look like at the end and down here you can see that you have uh, some files to download so if you want to understand the intricacies about this system, I really recommend you to download this project, uh, these files. It's a, a bundle of the two files that we need to make the system work and works. And here in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually use these files on your project. So, uh, by the way, guys, <laughs> uh, this is part of what is going to be an extra chapter on my Good Up Adventure Essentials course which is going to be released this week so currently the price is forty dollars so three uh thirty ninety nine but i'm going to raise up to fifty dollars by the end of this week so don't waste more time guys you you guys you guys have been postponing purchasing my course ever since i started talking about it this week is going to raise up to fifty dollars because everything is there already uh we already have the quest system on place. I'm recording the save system uh, chapter this week. So we already have all the five systems on place. We have the interaction system, the dialogue system, the event system, the quest system, and the save system is going to be released this week, which is going to finish up the course. And now I'm going to take it out of pre-sales and start the sales process. And this is going to raise up the price to 50 dollars so hurry up before i release the final chapter but that's it this uh mini map is going to be an extra chapter for my Ad good adventure essentials course so uh if you want to purchase the course you can click on this button down here on the post 
this is going to redirect you to my coffee page where you can purchase the book like this and well that said let's go back to the good old engine so here i have my current game and as i showed you if we press the the play button uh we currently don't have anything there is no mini map we just have some directions that uh, the quest system uh, provides but this is this doesn't give us a overview about the game road so what you have to do once you have those files on your project first you'll have to set you can open the map uh the map scene and you will need to set your map texture and since this is a texture rect you can actually use a viewport texture as well so a sub viewport texture making something like sub viewport and you can add whatever you want here and use this as a texture here this is what i'm going to do because i want to make uh, these stars animated so i'm going to use a particle system i want to make these tentacles so let me show you <laughs> the tentacles that i created this is very interesting because i'm using a set of bones and uh, synchronizing this path and this path line drawer uh, which is the system that I'm using to draw stuff because I, I really like vector art. I don't quite like pixel art, but using this system, I am I am able to make this animation right here using these skeletons. So what I can do is to move this <laughs> and is um, I'm good. Let me know if you guys want to know how this works because uh, this is a procedural animation system. And using that, I can use a path follow to do to make this animation right here. So let me show how this works. Um, I think that Grodd is going to crash. No, okay. So uh, this is how this um, this tentacle works. <laughs> so it's going to be uh, this is the idle animation. But once players get inside this area, the tentacle tries to catch them. But th this is not what this video is all about. Um, I'm going to use these tentacles to create this map right here so they are going to be animated on these uh, edges and after that uh, I'm going to use this sub viewport as a texture for my map but you can use a static image as well just like I'm using right here and uh, once you set this image up you can basically just add this map to your interface so I'm going to add map save and you have to point so let me explain how does a mapping system works what does a map do a map maps stuff right <laughs> pretty obvious but what is to map something well to map something you're going to take the real thing and it's going to remap things we are going to reposition stuff on a lower resolution representation of this thing that you are trying to map so in our case we have our level or our game road and we have our map which is a small representation a lower resolution representation of our game world so let's say that our game world has a hundred thousand pixels wide is a hundred thousand pixels wide and we want to map something that is on the a thousand pixels um offset from the origin right so it's kind of like one percent of the whole thing uh, this is what we want we want the relative position of a an item so a map item within this map we don't want the absolute position so what we have to do is to figure out what is the um, full size of the world of whatever we want to map and then we need to take the relative position of stuff in this uh in, in this position so for that i created a uh, the, the minimap asks you to provide the origin of your world and the limit which is uh, the the size the final size of your world and for that i'm going to point out to the origin of the level and to the limit of the level in my case the limit is a little bit uh, yeah, is <laughs> a little bit uh, uh, is very uh, big. Uh, is about here, but it's going to calculate everything that we need uh, on this uh, map. So what this is going to do is then to figure out what is the position of the map items in this uh, world. And for that, 
what we have to do is to use this map items. So the, the map item, the map uh, item will ask you to provide an icon so that you can use this icon to draw the representation on the map. Remember that the map is a lower resolution representation of something. So in that case, I um, the map item asks you to provide an icon. So to to do to make this work, so to map things on your map, all you have to do is to add a new map item instance on whatever thing you want to map. So if I want to map the player, as you can see back here, let's save that. Now you are probably going to have the map available, as you can see. So if I press M, it's going to show up the map, but you can see that there are no icons here, right? And let's add an icon for the player. So I have here the player scene, and here on the spaceship, I'm going to add a map item. And I'm going to use this spaceship icon here. And by default, the, the map item will modulate the icon on the map as uh, its own modulation. So uh, we can change this to whatever we want. So let's say we want to use a very red, um, a very red color like this. This is going to be the color of the player icon on the map. So let me fix that. Don't want the map to be displayed from the beginning. So now you can see that we have this red icon. I'm going to reset that because um, the yellow color has more contrast. And there we have it. This is all that you have to do in order to use this asset on your project. And if you want to map other stuff, so let's say that we want to find out where Earth is. I'm going to open the Earth scene. I'm going to attach a map icon, map item, sorry. And I'm going to give it the Earth icon here. Save. Back here. We are going to open the map. And there we have it. We have planet Earth there. Uh, planet Earth is orbiting the sun, so it's moving. And if we wait right about here, it's going to be here in a moment. Yeah, there we have it. So planet Earth, and we can find it and interact with it. And let's map, <laughs> let's map the planet uh, Mars as well. So Mars, I'm going to give it a map icon, map item, sorry, and use the Mars icon. Save it. I'm going to open the game scene and opening my map. There we have Mars as well. So let's try to find Mars. Open the map. Yeah, okay. And let's try to catch Mars. Yeah, there we have it. <laughs> Mars is right here. So this is the map system. And again, you can find it on my on the post that I'm going to share in the link in the description. If you open the post, you can go down here and uh, download the system. Uh, it's in Brazilian Portuguese because I shared on my uh, Portuguese website as well. So uh, don't mind with that. But this is the file that you want to download. You can click here. This is going to ask you for a location to save the file on your uh, navigation system or on your <laughs> folder system uh, and you can save it wherever you want and don't forget to get my course as i said this uh this week i'm going to bump up its price to 50 dollars uh but that's it thank you so much for watching keep developing and until the next one i hope you enjoyed uh, let me know in the comments if you find this helpful especially if you like this kind of video where i share a system and I show you how you can use it instead of having like tutorials and make you do something that I already did instead of just sharing uh, some assets with you. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Keep developing and until the next one. See you there.